other side. So now I have the stick in my left hand, my right foot is forward. Go on bowling over here. Now I haven't been bowling since I was a kid. And it does appeal to me because uh, I've been practicing this exercise. I know, man, I could just, that ball could go flinging down there with perfect accuracy. You see. But I don't know why. We don't have a bowling alley in Port Townsend anymore, and that's a lame excuse, but anyway. Okay, so here we go. Around. Use your legs, use your waist. You see? It's all coming from the legs. Smooth and light, smooth and open, smooth and smooth and smooth. And the other direction. And open, open, no, open, no. It's all coming from the leg. I don't know if you can see this. It's all coming from the leg and the waist. Opening, 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 opening. Very good. Okay, shaking out. Now, another thing we can do here is we can do uh, uh, push out, push out, push out, push out. So, this is going to work, really work the waist, shoulders, and arms, and turn, and turn, and turn. It, again, for those of you who do Tai Chi or, or studying exercise, this is all coming from the legs. See? It's a bit like I'm crouching, gathering the energy in my legs, and then as I press into the ground, the energy comes up and out. Out, 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 out. This is a very good way for people who, who are studying the martial arts to perfect the punching because then when, when I take it away and I punch, it feels so easy and so effective. You know, I've got so much more chi running down my arm. Okay, other side. No. No. This is, uh, for those of you who want to be feel a little slimmer and trimmer, this is very good for the back and for the, for the torso. I'll do it from the back. You can see there's a curling and releasing happening here. Good. Very good. Okay. Another one for opening up this. Um, this is quite good. I don't know if we can see this all the way up. Can you see this all the way up? <clears throat> I'll move back just a little bit. Yeah. So you can put your hand on your hip and push up. Push up. Push up. Push up. Push up. Push up. Feeling inside the line as it comes all the way from the ground through the body, stretching up and push. And push, 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 and push. Good. Now, th this might not be as many as I would normally do, but I don't want to, you know, bore you. <laughs> we want to get, get through as much as we can in this hour that we have. Okay? So, other side. It's just so much more fun. It really is fun to exercise with objects. In Taiji, we have swords, we've got sabers, we've got spears, we've got sticks. We have all kinds of objects which help us to play. And really, when you play, you can really learn and have fun and exercise, isn't it? Do you remember being a kid and just playing and playing? That's what we want. Okay, I think I'll pick up another rock, and 
This one, see, I just happened to, actually, I just picked these up on the way to the studio. I just happened to be just sitting around. And this one is fairly close to the same size, has a flat side and a round side. I think I'll hold the round side. Okay, so we can do some other things. When you have two, you can uh, do some other exercises that you can't do with just one. This is nice and easy. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this. It's, I'm bobbing into my legs, and what happens, what's happening is, as I come up, the rocks are getting thrown forward, which helps to open the shoulders. This is good for the legs. You want to hold as lightly as you can without letting them go and flinging them at the wherever you happen to be. Good. Now we can take this same kind of thing and we can also work into uh, exercising the, the toes. So the basic exercise is going to be, I'm going to come up on my toes and lift. So it's going to come up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down and up and up this weight is just carrying my body up as this this weight gets going it just carries and it really opens this is really opening can you see back here really opens the shoulders up oh it's gorgeous up and down up and down up and down So it's opening the chest, the arms, the back, the legs, very good. Now, another one that's quite good, well, you can just do this kind of thing, but another one that, that I really like, I call, it, I call it hugging grandma when I do it open-handed with a rock, I wouldn't think about it, but this is very, very, very good for shoulders and chest. So what's gonna happen is, I'm going to put, put your left foot forward, I've got my left foot forward, I'm going to sit back and kind of have the rocks are going to kind of open here. As I move forward, the momentum of my body throws the rocks. So here, you see that the weight of these rocks is really opening my chest, shoulders, and arms uh, back, and then it's closing. So now my back gets exercised and opening while my front closes. So this is very good exercise for chest. Very, very good. I'll do the other side. So put your, put your uh, right foot forward, same thing. So sit back. It might seem a little odd, the, the direction of going this, this way, going back and having the arms go forward. But uh, after you do a little bit, you'll find that it's very nice and works. Now, be careful about when you're doing this. There's a tendency to let the neck do, kind of do this when you go forward. No, you don't, that would put too much stress on the neck. You want to keep the neck integrated. You see, as the weight is moving forward, this whole thing is working as a unit, you see, and the neck is not collapsing. So be careful about that. Good. 